Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another video. This time, we're going to talk about the Mezco 112 Collective Harley Quinn. I believe it's Deluxe Edition. Deluxe Edition. So, let's get started. This is really cool because I don't know what it is about it. I guess it's just the overall look of seeing Harley Quinn in her classic costume just means a lot to me. I know she's pretty much changed and evolved over the years, but it's really nice to see that original Batman, the animated series look, or at least something close to it. So, it's really nice to have it. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say much about the look other than I really like it. I know some people may not like the bunching down here in the area, but if we're talking about a realistic look on a woman who probably is a gymnast and can literally like out gym all of us, uh, yeah, this pretty much works. I mean, sometimes unitards bunch up. It, it's like that. But it's probably the only thing I can say that I, that might bother someone that I can think of. But yeah, overall, I like the look. So without further ado... Let's get to it, Scooby-Doo. All right, so let's stand her straight up and let's talk about our look and articulation. Uh, Maybe it's, no, I think it's light enough. Yeah, this is light enough. I think what's really dope is this face coat. I mean, I know it may not show here, but in my photos, you'll see that nice little smirk. There's a lot of detail in that with that domino mask and those glaring eyes. I really like the look of that. Um, I try to definitely home in on that with uh with pretty much my photos. So I hope you guys can see it as well. As far as articulation in the head goes, we can look up, we can look down, we can tilt side to side, we can turn left and right, we can actually turn all the way around if you want to do a zombie Harley. And we actually get a lot of movement here. It's really nice to have this. These little pom-poms are really nice. They're made of cloth, so they're actually pretty movable. I know some people may not like that. I know someone did an actual swap with the icons one and it actually looks good as well. Now, as far as our arm articulation goes, we can go all the way up. We have a little bit of, we actually have a lot of room. I like that, again, just like with Supreme Knight, there's a little bit of room left in these patterns that allow you to kind of just get to the room. We have a bicep swivel. No, 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 we don't have a bicep swivel, sorry. We have a turning mechanism on the arm. No bicep swivel, sorry. And it is singular jointed, but for some reason it just feels stronger than what was previously made. Or maybe I've just gotten used to it, so I know where, where like where it is and how to work it. So yeah, these joints I really don't have a problem with um, on the Harley. I wish they were double jointed. Sure, I do, but it's it's still the female body that Mezco hasn't uh, pretty much changed yet. It's gotten stronger, but it, I don't think it's actually changed. As far as our upper torso goes, just like with Catwoman, we have a very nice ab crunch going forward. We have a really nice bend going backwards as well, too. So somersaults, I guess, shouldn't be an issue for her. We can move our leg forward. We can move it somewhat backwards. And again, there is room because of that baggy fit here. And then we can move our leg only at a 90 degree angle. It cannot hit further past that. So we have confirmed that we're using the old body. And our ankle pivot is going to be quite limited because our boot can only allow it for rotation forward and through that part, through the forwardness. That's why you see her doing the knock knee look for me. You can actually get the best articulation that way. You get a little bit of wiggle room going side to side, but that's just about it. So overall, oh, can we tilt side to side? Oh yeah, we can still tilt side to side too. So I wanna make sure I capture that. So we can tilt side to side as well. So we have all this room on our Harley, which is pretty cool. I like it. Now, Pretty much, it, this is one of those things where I feel like I like the Catwoman. It should have had more articulation, but uh, it suffered in that manner. But for some reason on the Harley, it just feels a little stronger. So will she suffer from articulation issues? Yes, she will. But again, it just kind of feels better on this Harley than it did on Catwoman. So I can say that. So as you can see, I didn't do much with her, but it looks, she looked really good. So now let's jump into those accessories. Let's do that. Now, in terms of accessories, let's show what Harley comes with. Let's go over the alternate head sculpt. So, I think this head sculpt is actually pretty good. I think the teeth may have been a little too realistic. I would have, I wouldn't mind it to just be uh, less, a little less teeth. But overall, I think this definitely captures the crazy Harley Quinn we've all know to come and love. I think this is captured really, really well. I think the sculpt is done dope. And again, just like with the previous one, it'll just pop right on with no problem. But I think this one is a true winner. We actually get that uh, that stoic Harley Quinn unmasked, hair all tied up. I really like this head sculpt a lot. This is dope. Um, 
if you want to make like a custom out of this and use this for like an arkham game harley this is definitely a great base start i think this is sculpted and painted really well the black around the eyes definitely adds to that as well too this is dope now we're going to talk about her let's do oh i actually like this one a lot and i want to talk about this she has this little uh like acne gun <laughs> which is pretty funny and it has a little cork in it too and on the front there is a bat and even on the back there's written for batman and oh she fell <laughs> But I thought that this was pretty fun. Um, this is a nice animated series like throwback. So I really like the idea of this. This is being included. We have a classic bomb, a little kiss on it. She kisses and throws it. Has a little lightning flare too. In case you want to add a little bit of a uh, light into it. You have an actual real grenade. Thrown in there as well too. Just to mess with people. You have a Joker doll. A Joker doll plushie. Which is kind of ripped that it seems. But it's sculpted really dope. This is nice. It does not move. It's pretty static, but she can hold it in her hands. We have her classic mallet. Uh, this does not twist out. This actually has some decent weight to the top of the mallet part. So this is going to be fun to mess around with. Then we have our rocket launcher or an RPG or whatever it is, because there's always a new name or a technical name for something I don't know. <laughs> so this has a handle. You can actually rotate out the sight for it. Here's the uh, trigger handle. And then you can, I believe this is a shoulder rest. And then you can actually take this out for reloading, I guess. Or at least to show that it's in there. I don't know how an actual RPG works. So yeah, <laughs> I don't think I've ever shot one before. So I can't speak from experience on this one. What's really cool about this though is you actually get a rocket effect. You can actually place it inside and get your rocket on. And you can place it at any one of the four that you want. So if you have kind of like multiple Harleys, you can like place them in the adjacent ones. Like, I mean, sorry, the parallel ones. And then shoot them out. This is actually, I, I really like this a lot. This is fun. Um, I, I, don't, I don't see people not using this for other stuff as well. This is just a great thing to have. Now, last but not least, our hands. So you'll get the mallet holding hands. These are two just significant mallet holding hands. You'll get your hand for holding your grenade, your right hand. This can also hold the stuffed teddy. Oh no, 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 this is, actually it can, yeah. It's a little wide, but I know also the mallet holding hands can hold them as well too. We get an open action hand. This one seemed more like it was for holding the bomb, but that may not be the case. Just an open action hand. We also get another old open action hand, and I believe you can use this one for either having a mallet, the bomb, or just holding the gun, just holding other types of items. And then you have one trigger hand. So apparently Harley is right-handed, and now it's confirmed because she has, <laughs> at least in this version, right? Now, next up, guys, we're going to talk about those size comparisons. So let's get to it as I get Harley all posed up. So let's do that. All right, guys, on now to the size comparison. One thing I forgot during the articulation part is that she does have thigh swivel. So I want to make sure I show that to you very quickly. There is a thigh swivel. I don't know how I forgot that. Maybe because I was so into it. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe we'll never know. Let's find out next time. Dragon Ball Z. But, yeah, let's jump to those size comparisons. First things first, let's compare her to some Harleys that I have. So let's do that. Uh, here is SHF Harley from the birds of prey movie as you can see she is a little smaller even with her heels on we have the icons harley which i mentioned earlier in the video icons harley looking pretty good but is significantly smaller then we have the injustice harley these are all the harleys that i believe i own outside of the original like suicide squad harley but if you compare one of them it, it really kind of doesn't matter right so here we are with our Harleys, a bunch of different, uh, the multiverse of Harley, right? So this looks pretty good. Um, she might be the biggest one yet, but she's still gonna probably gonna be smaller than a bunch of other figure lines uh, in terms of like, I'm sorry, still gonna be smaller with, compared to other Mezcos. So let's get to that. Now, actually let's compare it to some Mezcos, some Batman and Batman related stuff. Here we have the main man himself, which is gonna be Joker. And as you can see, she's, whoop, there we go. She is a little smaller than Joker. Whoop, and now you fell. Wow, you guys, 
you guys keep it uh even in toy form you keep it pretty much the same about each other huh <laughs> love hate relationship so let's get you guys standing up there we go she's a little smaller here we are with deathstroke the terminator all right then we have catwoman and all these are going to be mezcos that i'm going to compare Then we have Batman Sovereign Knight. So let's use him because we saw Harley make an appearance in Supreme. We kind of know where she stands with that. So here we go. Wow. What is up with you? Why are you falling? Is it the diorama or is it the way I'm positioning you? Let's double check. It is the way I'm positioning you because I'm looking at the feet. So yeah, she actually fits somewhere in between being a little bit taller than Catwoman, but also smaller than everybody else. So as we move everyone else right now, Let's, add, let's do that ever so gently. I'm actually going to try to put her feet a little bit more outward. Yeah, it's both the way I'm positioned feet and diorama, just so that we clarify. Here we are with a Mattel red hood. I forgot I had this. So yeah, now we can compare it. Then we have the DC Essentials Cheetah. This one is a little bit more difficult to pose up because they have really strangely weird ankles. Sometimes, I don't know why, sometimes they're jammy, sometimes they're not. There we go. Now we're gonna do a Mythic Legion's female barbarian body. I thought this would be a good comparison because for those of you that paint legions and do that stuff, I saw someone do a Harley custom and it was really dope. So now you can see how it looks with an Harley. Yeah. Move these guys out of the way. Now let's compare it to some other stuff that you may want to mix and match with or just overall have some fun with. Here is SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Kuga. So you can just see Kuga next to it and he made an appearance in the video. Give him his royalties and his credits. Just in case you want to goon it up, here are some Marvel Legends Scourge bodies. So you can see what she's like with these goons. And they are a little bit taller than her. I have some trouble standing these guys sometimes. I think I've worn out their ankles. Here is a 1000 Toys Synthetic Human. Uh, what else am I forgetting? Mm. Oh crap, I don't have any ninjas here. So instead, I'll add some ninjas in the photo portion. I think that just about rounds it up because I don't have any ninjas around me. Gotta have to dig through the bins. But overall, I really like this Harley. I like what she comes with. Uh, and she's very photogenic. Um, but this may not fill the need for some people as they have the Icons Harley or an Essentials Harley or whatever version of Harley that they have. This may not be a must for you, but for people like me who love Batman anime series, I really like having this around. And that's that's just how I feel about it. In the meantime, guys, hope you found this informative. I hope you found it enjoyable. And as always, please be good, do good, drink your water, guys. Later.